Well, good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a broken barn. Got hit by a huge tree that sat right over here. It's a 16 by 16 with a upstairs, an actual, there's, a, there's an actual floor and steps going up. I gotta somehow put this thing back together. I'm gonna bring you along with me because I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do it. I don't want to pull the tarp right now. I want to focus on getting some of these trusses back in order. So let me take you inside and show you what we're up against. Oh boy. Well, it's pretty dimly lit. I don't know if you can see exactly what's going on, but uh, if you can't tell, uh, the tree went boom on that side and pushed this side up, which uh, for these homemade trusses, it's a pretty good testament to them. They transferred load pretty well, but uh, bucked everything off that way. And the more I look at it, the more I realize I've got to start hacking a lot of stuff apart to even get to a point where I can start. Here's a 4x4 that came down to I think a beam down below. You can see how it got pushed up about three inches on this side. Here's its counterpart. Pushed down about three inches. I'm not exactly sure where to begin and honestly I've been on this job for over an hour already. You gotta find somewhere to start. Honestly, I gave the guy the I don't want to do it price, and he said, okay, there's my mistake. Well, the camera wasn't on, but I didn't do too much. I'm just going to start tearing these shingles out, cutting stuff away. We'll see what falls on my head. Ooh, this is starting out well. At least it's finally warming up. It is unseasonably chilly. I was hoping I could get to a point uh, where I could stop on this one, <laughs> the one that pushed through the floor. But this is broke, so I don't know if I should take it or if I should sister onto it. Yeah, that one's broke there too. Hell, they're split there and there too, but I think I can sister those. I know this one's got to go. This one's got to go. Holy moly, what have I gotten myself into? There's more. Holy cowbells. What have I done? I'm not saying I bit off more than I could chew, but I bit off more than I care to eat. Well, we looky here. I'm gonna try to sister this one. So I gotta go get my jacks. I don't have any of my jacks with me. I was set up with come alongs and ratchet straps for pulling, not pushing. I don't even know. You suppose we can push on that floor? We're gonna find out. Oh. All right, well, I went down to go up. Right here is where that 4x4 was up top on that cracked rafter 
and led us to a cracked joist. So what I've done is attached a two by four along it as a sister. Hopefully I can use big red here and we're going to lift it back into place, run more screws in here and then that should hold it and then we can lag it, nail it, do all the fun stuff to make it nice and solid. Then up top, that should give me hopefully something that I can try to get a jack on to push the rafter up. So we gotta come all the way back down to the foundation to shore stuff up, up there. So if this works here, I guess it'd be proof of concept that I could probably do it to the rafter also. But who knows? Um, so let's see what happens. All right. Knock myself out, lose some teeth. You guys let me know if we're getting there. Looks like we're in line. Good start. Okay. Let's see if it comes back down. See if it planes through. Yeah, it's still low. We're gonna have to get at it again. But I think it gives me something solid here now to try to jack this one up. Oh, maybe. Well, we're at sketch level. 99. Um, I've got a cable come along down here that's trying to pull stuff together. I've got my sister up here. I'm going to see if I can just uh, put a shoulder into this, lift this thing up down here, and throw some screws in. <laughs> what could go wrong? Probably not. All right, I think we were gonna top sketch level uh, 100 there, so I dial it back a little bit. Um, the only problem I have is jacking on an angle. I'll have to make up a block to try to hold the jack in place. Oh Lord, this is gonna be good. Let's see how much we gained. Definitely a step in the right direction. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's five o'clock. I'll probably pull this tarp and get rolling. Unfortunately, I don't want. I don't want this deck and stuff getting too wet, so. Oh. 
All right, day two. Not exactly sure where we left off yesterday because uh, as I was getting this rafter sistered on, the homeowner came out and started yapping. And then uh, the guy, concrete guy that I work with um, that actually got me this job stopped by and uh, we were all talking. And then it started raining, so the tarp got pulled. Anyway, uh, this is in and this is sistered. It did take a little bit of tr pressure off of my come along here, so I was able to pull some more. But I am just, I am just pulling on a one by here. So I think I'm gonna get a better stiff back on here at some point, and then be able to pull on everything. Like I'll get a couple two by fours or something and lag them in there. Then I can pull everything a little better because. Uh, those brackets are bent back. They took a shot. This whole thing shifted when it got hit by the by the tree. So we're gonna get the tarp pulled back, and then I'm probably gonna work on that. I think. I'm not sure. Hey, look at that skylight. So first up is gonna be doing this tarp. Second up is whatever number two is going to be and uh, we're going to go through go on we're going to move fo move forward oh hey my head working um hopefully we're framing something today day two yes i'm wearing the same shirt but i did change my left sock so tomorrow i'll change my right sock I have no fears i'm not a dirt ball okay it's been a couple hours and i'm not even sure i want to show you <laughs> you guys want to see Okay. Here's my recent uh, Rube Goldberg of Doom. Ratchet straps upon ratchet straps come along. Jacks, jacks, and jacks. The problem with pushing is that the uh, floor is not the most secure thing in the world. Um, but I'm gaining. If you can see back there that this is coming down to meet the gable and that uh, let me bring you over here I'm waiting for one of these to pop decapitate me um, we're just about back to where we started here so that is a good sign um, I wish I had more heavier duty straps, but I just don't have any with me. Whew. A lot of popping going on. What do you guys think? I know you're all going to have an opinion about that, especially you back there. That guy right there. You can tell he's got an opinion. I don't like this. It's like sitting on a stick of dynamite, hoping it doesn't blow up, I guess. Okay, I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. Hopefully still with my head. All right, I've got that 4x4 attached back here that I had to bring everything down to get to. So it's wanting to go back up. Uh, we're going to release these and kind of see exactly what happens. Keep an eye on the uh, gable there, or the rafters. Broken joist came back up. We're still gonna have to address that. Oh, Nelly. not in too bad a spot there. Here, let me show you what's going on. That 4x4 is installed. It is, it did come up a little bit. I can shim that. I don't even think that needs to be there. The homeowner built this years ago, so he's got some added extra stuff. Um, but you can see I'm getting closer and closer in the back here. 
Although the closer I get, I start to realize the OSB is inboard of that gable rafter. So I think the gable might be kicked out a little bit. We might have to address that. And I've got probably about the equivalent kilotons of a small nuclear bomb ready to go at any moment here. Well, I'm going to push up on this a little bit because it just moved. And then see if we can bring that in more. Bring it in. Something moved. Something gave way. Yeah. All right. I think we're about where we want to be. Looks pretty good there. Okay, I'm gonna let this creak and crack for a moment and then rethink what my next move is gonna be. All right, we're going up here. I'm gonna show you how much we gained. Looks good through the window. Looks good at the ridge. I know there's a lot of schmutz in the way there. But the section opposite where I cut out, where the tree had hit, that part of the ridge was shifted and it was bringing this with it. So it had a big swoop uh, that way. And now we're just about where we need to get to. So that's good. I think I'm gonna get ready to tarp up, fall off the ladder. <laughs> Probably watch what I'm doing. Okay, I uh, think I'm gonna get ready to tarp up. I'm gonna have to grab material in the morning and head here as long as the rain holds off, which fingers crossed it will. This thing's gonna start getting back into shape tomorrow. Finally, I haven't even contacted the roofing crew yet to see if I can get them out here. I don't want to shingle this by myself, that'd be terrible. Bad. Hey, good morning, gang. Welcome back to the absolute worst uh, how-to channel on YouTube. The guy that always forgets to bring his audience along. Good Lord. Let me show you what uh, we are getting into day three here. Brought some material this morning. Dumpster showed up this morning. Uh, got to doing some work and ended up talking to the homeowner for a while. And finally jumped right into it. Forgot to bring you guys. You're neglected, but I still love you. Um, I got this floor replaced. Now, the homeowner built this several years ago. He did some construction and stuff. He is much too elderly to fix this now. Uh, there's some things that I would have an issue with, but not that big a deal. Um, the OSB he ran was running the wrong way. It's running with the joist, so it doesn't have its strength access. So this piece I cut to replace, I actually cut properly. Not that it really matters. Um, but there is my fixed joist down below. So I dropped this 4x4 back in. This 4x4 went back in yesterday. I think you saw that. Uh, and over here. Please, baby Jesus, don't let one of these straps break when I'm straddling it. Um, I think I've got to pull this gable end wall in. I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like it's pulled away a little bit. Everything else is pretty good, but I got to get that pulled in. So what I think I'm going to do is comparable to this. We're going to throw a tuber on here somewhere with some lag bolts, and then we are going to strap it to somewhere over there uh, with more lag bolts and straps and we're just gonna add more potential energy to what uh, will probably ultimately become a death trap at some point. Sorry about the blue hue, it has been raining off and on all morning. 
so we're working under the tarp. Um, I'm gonna get this set up and then we're gonna see if we can move it. I won't forget you this time. I'll bring you along when we're ratcheting things because that could be when all the fun happens. I hope it doesn't, but you know, for you guys, maybe it would be cool. All right, we're hooked up over there, ish, to this, to that. Let's see what the heck happens. Can you guys see the horror that's about to unfold? Yeah, there you go. starting to think that that gable was uh, kind of where it's at when it was built. I'm getting zero movement here. Granted, I'm pulling more down there than I am here. Okay, I got some pretty good pressure on that thing and it's not coming in. Um, the homeowner was asking me to double up those rafters, sister on, on the gable, and I'm wondering if uh, he knew that the OSB never really broke properly on there. And that's why he wanted me to do that. I'm gonna go with that. So we're gonna cut some nailers get them on there. I should be able to nail the OSB on the outside, but I don't have that stripped yet. I don't really don't want to with all the rain we've had. So I guess we'll double those up and then uh, maybe work on framing some of the rafters on this side. If you saw my garage where I drew the walls back together using some ratchet straps and come-alongs and jacks and stuff, there's really no exact science that isn't tearing it down, you know, that's the way to do it, is to tear it down and start again. But when uh, there's no money in the budget for that, you improvise and do sketchy stuff, so. I'm gonna release all of this and see where it goes back to. Because I'm realizing that these couple rafters are way lower than the plane of that and that's probably because they're broke but I don't know man let's see what happens yeah she moved you know what about that oh come on that one did not move this one we can take back a little bit at a time as much as I thought it would. We gained. We gained. Still don't know what I'm doing, but I feel like I'm going in the right direction. You think I'm going in the right direction with this? Give this video a thumbs up. Encourage me. <laughs> then maybe I'll do more jobs like this. Uh, oh, Lord help me. All right, it's probably been a couple hours. I got everything cleaned up here. Um, yeah, you probably can't see them, but I've got some brackets in there to duplicate. Well, those, because that's how it was built. I have a two by four lagged in there, lagged in there. 
lag in there. Those are going to be permanent. So I duplicated that on this side. One there, one there, one there. Now I have what I think should be a pattern for a rafter. So I'm going to screw that together. We're going to set it in and see what it looks like, I guess. Too high. Showing me it needs to be a much shallower angle. <laughs> so I told you the homeowner built this, and uh, he said just get a pattern, and then that's all you need. It's a little difficult because all the rafters that I took out were destroyed and every time I try to measure one that's in place they're not all the same so I'm not exactly sure what he had patterned originally but well, unfortunately I got to knock off a little early today because I got to take the dog to the vet venture dog ain't hurt or nothing he just needs his checkup and uh I gotta pull the starve and clean up, so probably gonna do that. Catch up with you guys tomorrow. We gotta figure out these rafters. I don't know. Somebody explain to me what I'm doing here. Day four, and I have a plan for the first time in four days, I think. Um, I'm gonna try to build these rafters in place instead of just trying to mock up a half truss and putting it in. I think it should work. Who knows, who knows? I spent about the last hour racking my brain why when I laid out my stringers there to put that truss on, it was wonky, it dog-legged. I started pulling measurements and between the existing truss right there and this truss down here is 93 inches between them up top between there and there 96 inches I think it was built that way so at this point I'm just trying to make it work I've been driving myself insane trying to get everything lined up here and it wasn't right to begin with so we're just gonna make it up. We're gonna fake it till we make it, guys. Uh, Cause this needs to get closed up. This is getting ridiculous. It's taking me forever. So onward and upward, we're scabbing it back together. All right, well, uh, the whole time that I was cutting rafters, installing rafters, um, the homeowner was standing right here, yapping with me. So I didn't get any video, but they're in, they seem to be in plane and where they should be the more I deal with this building the more I look at it the more I realize I really probably wasn't in perfect square plum level to begin with so we are making do um, I've got a bunch of plywood gussets cut a bunch more up there uh, we are going to tack these in um, get those brackets nailed up and then I guess we're going to have to figure out the overhang so then I can start getting some OSB on. But the big conundrum, the rafters, seem to be solved, I hope. A lot of hope in this job. That's about all I'm going on here. Okay, I've got to come along on this again to kind of pull it down because it seemed to pop up in the middle a little bit. So I'm going to start running these gussets 
I'm just going to use the hanger nailer um, to get them on both sides and then I'll blast them on with some eight pennies and we should be getting to a spot where we can get to another spot finally if you're the last guy watching this because everybody else is tuned out by now kudos to you I appreciate the support ah. haven't a clue if this is going to work, but we're going to try to get OSB way up top first. Okay, I got some tuning up to do. Got to cut that OSB straighter on that side. Got to clean up some nails on this side. And uh, then I think I'm going to try to go all the way up with a four footer. I have to do that off the ladder. I'm not even sure that's possible. It wasn't possible up there. I would end up killing myself. Don't want that.
Well, that sheet goes from 95 and a half at the top to 94 at the bottom. And I couldn't tell what side was square, so I picked one. And I chose poorly, so I had to flip it. And now it's got the smooth side, but I mean, that's an unwalkable pitch anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh boy. Next up, I need to figure out this overhang, which is kind of just floating in midair. I'll probably have to uh, cut the gutter away and stuff and start doing some inspectifications. See if my old eyes can see what's going on and then uh, we'll move on to the duplifications. Duplicate, duplicate fake. Yep, we'll make, we'll make, we'll make more of them. I gotta do the thinky part again. Yeah, I hate that part. Well, good morning, gang. It's day something on this project. Um, the last three days were like a couple hours in the evenings because I, unfortunately, due to poor scheduling on my part, had another job going on that was taking priority in the morning. Um, and, and the homeowner was out here talking with me and stuff and I was under the gun. I didn't run the camera. But I did get this overhang rebuilt and the bulk of the other side uh, stripped of shingles. So this side is fully repaired and the back side has the little lookout up top needs to be repaired and then there's three, I think maybe, sheets of OSB or partial sheets that need to be fixed and the rest stripped down. So I'm going to get untarped here and then uh, I'll show you all of the grand uh, broken OSB-ness on the other side. Alright, here's the back side. Got it mostly stripped down. Need to clean it up still, obviously. Um, this, remember on the inside, is this gable wall where it was all pulled away. I got to get that renailed. I got to get those sheets up top nailed down and then I'll show you after I get this done I'll show you up top um, oh, way up there what needs to be switched all right I gotta patch that it's holding my saw though that hole is where the whirly bird is going to go back every roof needs a whirly bird we got to patch that section this whole section is loose, so we'll probably just cut that, take that all out. And here is the overhang. Oh, I'm going to have to mess with that. That's going to be fun. All right. We're patched in. We're basically <laughs> re-cobbled the original cobble job, but uh, kind of what the homeowner wanted, so we're doing this on the cheap. Now, it's starting to rain. I'm gonna pull the tarp, do some cleanup, get the shingles out here. Hopefully, hopefully, get the roofing crew out here. If not, guess I'll be doing it. Ah, that doesn't sound like fun. Well, you saw me tarping this thing, and then uh, the camera died, and then it rained, and then I went to go pick up the shingles, and then I delivered the shingles, and then I started cleaning up, then it rained even more, then I went home, and this is the following day. Got a hold of my roofers, they came out and knocked this thing out, and then it rained again. <laughs> Cold, wet, and rainy. It's a Saturday, the last thing I want to be doing. Um, so they got the Whirly Bird on. We just reused it because it worked really well. Uh, I got most of everything cleaned up. I'm going to clean up some more of this stuff for the homeowner. Uh, I got to get this gutter cleaned out. Um, I'm going to install a new gutter on the other side. But progress was made. So, on account of I'm cold and wet, and it's a Saturday. Um, and I'd like to do stuff that's not work, although it seems like that's all I do lately. Um, I'm gonna get out of here and then uh, just buttoning up the soffit 
uh, and the fascia and then there's a hole in the floor of the shed that I'm going to patch that up and then uh, I don't know if you can see there's a spot on the roof there that is missing some drip edge missing a shingle also missing drip edge on the other side of that hip I'm gonna fix that also so that's it yeah it took a couple guys four hours to shingle that it would have taken me three days but I hate roofing I've done lots of it over the years and I'm too darn old for it anymore I'm going home see you guys well, in a minute good morning dudes and dudettes and everyone else we're on day whatever the last day was uh, plus one hoping hoping I'm hoping to get the soffit done today, the fascia's redone, and gutter on. Uh, I'm already set up, already kind of started pulling some of the soffit out so I can re-channel. Uh, and we're going to see. I'm just going to go back with the pre-bent fascia to match up. I'm going to redo the whole front gable also because they slammed a bunch of uh, nails in there when they tarped it, which is an unfortunate uh, side effect to having a tree land on your shed. So, I'd like to get this done. Uh, I'd like to head out of town this evening. So, I want this dried in, ready to rock, blah, 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 uh, such with and so forth, and whatever. Let's roll. Forgot my hat today. Now I feel naked, so I apologize for the nude scene. It's a little bit of a different installation than I would have done, um, and not, so I'm trying to duplicate it. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of caulk involved, like all the soffit, 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 I don't know, wherever you live, use the pronunciation you like. Um, it was all caulked in, so I'm going to put it back in and see if we can't make it hold it in there. I don't know. This is not a how-to. This is just uh, watch an idiot work, which seems to be entertaining for some of you. I don't know why, but I'll go with it. I've got to put these in backwards. And it's frustrating me. I'm going to turn the camera off so I can swear and throw things. See you in a minute. Well, uh, 17 and a half hours later, I got this cobbled together. And uh, still needs to be all caulked in. Put the fascias on and whatnot. Still have to do the front fascia. Um, but I'm trying to knock out this gutter. Can an idiot carpenter hang 18 feet of gutter? I don't know. We're all going to find out. All right, I think I got those crimped in. That'll probably take more sealant, but I'm going to do that after everything's installed. 
I think I got to cut this away to make everything tuck in because I didn't get the holder together bracketer thing. Um, and I'm gonna have to reseal that because it popped off. So just got to get a measurement of 211. Get this attached and start putting my hidden hangers in. I overthought this, or underthought this, I figured that I would just put a uh, hidden hanger right there in the center, and everything would be good. And now I'm kind of realizing that if I try to lift it in the center, that's where it's going to hinge. Dang it. I know there's probably a bunch of you who are screaming, saying, you're an idiot, you're doing it wrong. Go figure. it's on there or something I'm gonna get it sealed up work on the down I don't know well <laughs> the, the gutters on downspouts are on I'm gonna leave it way over there because it, it's ugly but homeowners happy with it because it's better than what he had on there he keeps telling me it's just a shed so uh, I'm gonna get out of here get cleaned up get all my junk picked up I still am going to have to do the front faces and then also the floor had a hole in it in the shed not from the limbs but because it was just OSB on the ground well not on the ground but you know what I mean um, so the other day I cut that all out sistered on with treated and put a full 4x8 sheet of treated Whew, CDX in there and uh, he wants me to run 90 pound over it again that's how he had it lapped and he's got some right in there I'll do that next time I got other places to be and I'm going to head to those places but um, I'll probably show you I'll either show you the faces or I'll show you when everything's wrapped up I'm not sure who knows there's probably no one left watching this video as it is anyway unless it's you three you three that watch that other video all the way to the end you know who you are. Well, all right, knuckleheads. You goofballs have got to the point of the video where I apologize for having apparently not done a final walk around on the barn there. If I did, I lost the footage. Um, I was going through everything as I was importing it into the computer, and I couldn't find anything. I couldn't even find any pictures, really, that I had taken, except like two. So it was a couple months ago, several months ago, when I did this, so I don't know, I can't remember why I didn't get to walk around, or why I lost it, or where it went. The aliens stole it, maybe, I don't know. I mean, I appreciate it if you stuck around this long, just for the disappointment at the end. But I mean, if you're here still, YouTube thinks you should see this video right over here, so why don't you go check that out, and then, uh, why don't you check out that sweet Jeep while you're at it.